in the effort to come up with a new GOP nominee to replace Congressman Chris Collins, who suspended his bid for re-election, Republican Party officials at the county level will make the decision on who ends up on November's ballot. Tonight, a few of the mentioned potential candidates spoke during a local gathering of Republicans. To Sides, Ron Plants explains who was there and what impact this could have on the congressional race. A Main Street Williamsville restaurant, the gathering place for members of the Amherst Town Republican Committee and four of the 11 candidates who we've confirmed are interested in the GOP nomination for the congressional seat, came out to speak at this local level private meeting where party can still play a key role, providing input to Erie County GOP Chairman Nick Langworthy. We can offer uh, him what we're hearing on the streets from the grassroots folks, from the folks in things like the Amherst Committee come to this meeting, spend the time. They're the ones who are going to be on the ground day after day, helping out with the lit drops, helping out with the phone banks. We heard from two of the candidates we spotted entering the meeting. I've been one of the most consistent and effective critics of Governor Cuomo and his policy, so I know what it is to take on a challenge and fight even against a long, art, long odds. So I'd be happy to go into Congress and take that fight for the people of the 20th 7th district down to Washington, D.C. Worked very hard to represent the interests of my district, which in many ways is a microcosm of the congressional district number 27. Uh, there are suburban areas, rural areas, agricultural areas, and historic villages. So what I have represented in many ways is very similar to what this congressional district is looking for. The other two candidates did not approach us for an interview. Do you think you're able to be a little bit of the voice of folks, more the average voters, saying, okay, here's what we're hearing at the town level to take up? Absolutely. You know, and I, I will say that uh, Nick Langworthy does a great job at the county level getting the grassroots going as well. Now, we wanted to point out that is Joseph Hines. He is the chairperson of the Erie of the Amherst Republican Town Committee. Uh, he says that Nick Langworthy, he's the Erie County GOP chair, will telling two on your side that the eight county GOP chairs from the 27th district will meet tomorrow in Batavia. He says the primary purpose of this particular meeting to discuss options to get Chris Collins off the ballot. It's a complicated matter, as you may imagine. But again, they, along with some input from the party's committee, on vacancies will choose the actual party nominee. And by the way, we wanted to point out the two candidates we heard from tonight. That was Ray Walter, who is at a state assemblyman, and Ed Rath, who is an Erie County legislator. I'm Ron Plants, Channel 2 News.